Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca if you're new here and I am a half Belgian, half British YouTuber living in London right now. And today um, I'm gonna apologize in advance because it is absolutely boiling. So if I look a bit shiny, it's not on purpose. It's not highlighter. Um, and today I wanted to talk to you about Bioderma. So uh, this is a brand that I've been using for quite a while now actually. One of their products in particular for a long time and I'm a bit newer to their sort of broader range I suppose. Um, I've got quite sensitive skin and it gets really really dry sometimes so um, I've purely bought the Sensi Bio range um, because it just works really well with my skin. It's actually something that my uh, pharmacist in Belgium recommended to me. Um, I went in looking for something to soothe my skin because it was just so dry in the colder months. I know it's not very cold right now at all, but in the colder months, my skin was just going absolutely crazy and I could not control it. So um, I went to my pharmacist back home and he recommended this little guy. I've only got the little um, tester one at the moment, or not the, like the travel size because um, I I've just finished the large one and this one is just one that I always have in my travel bag ready to go 50% uh, off as well and actually I had kind of been looking at the Bioderma range for a while and I'd never tried any of their products and I picked up the blue one which is not the Sensi Bio I think it, I think that's just their regular range and um, I was about to go buy it and he was like no 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 go back get the Sensi Bio you'll do much better with this one and he was like he really recommended it anyway so um, I was wearing using this for a while which is just a micellar water and um, Bioderma is one of those brands a bit like La Roche-Posay and Avene and stuff like that where it's uh, laboratory tested, dermatologically approved so um, I kind of like I just really wanted to test it out and I was super interested in the brand so um, I was really happy when um, I just really loved their micellar water. I thought it was great and it was really, um, my skin didn't react at all and my skin reacts very easily to new products so um, yeah that was definitely a plus. And then from there, I think it was my mom who actually recommended the Sensibio um, micellar wipes and this one I tried I think my mom read in a magazine that Victoria Beckham uses these and that she swears by them and that's the one thing that she uses when she's traveling or something like that and they are really really good I am definitely one of those people who thinks if you can't if you don't need to use a face wipe don't use it like I'd much rather just wash my face properly because I know that these can dry out your skin but this one as I said it's like a sense sensitive h2o version Version and um, really soothing and it does actually take your makeup off which I was surprised by because I don't know what it is but most makeup removers don't take my mascara off it drives me crazy I need like serious hardcore stuff to take my mascara off and this does the trick so um, it's soft on the skin but it like properly cleans your face which is really nice so if you're looking again probably more for traveling I would definitely recommend this and it is based on that micellar solution um, paraben free, hypoallergenic, non rinse, yeah, so um, this is definitely one that I would recommend for you guys. Um, and then next up, I, I'll go with this one. This is one of the newer ones that I've been using only recently. You can see I'm not like that far down it at all, but I've been using it for a few weeks now, if not a couple months, and um, I just think it's great. I've got it just in my shower. I don't wash my face probably as often as I should just because I know that my skin is so sensitive and so dry that washing my face is always an issue. So um, this one, it's again, their Sensi Bio Gel Mousson, so um, foaming gel, that's what it is. <laughs> Mild cleansing foaming gel and um, it's uh, for sensitive skin, it smells nice, it just kind of foams up and properly takes off everything, makes you feel like properly clean after, which is really nice, it gives a good feeling after. So um, this is one that I probably use uh, every other day or so, um, usually when I'm in the shower, but I've got it next to my sink as well, so um, I try to use it. Uh, a bit more often but um, it says face and eyes as well it's um, I think it's soap free yeah soap free and fragrance free so it's fine for like scrubbing everything off um, again highly recommend and uh, definitely one that if you've got sensitive skin you should definitely check out 
And then last but not least, the um, another thing I've been doing recently is because my skin's so dry, I've stopped like using toners or anything. And I've even cut down on the micellar water that I use quite a bit. And I've been focusing a lot more on cleansing milk. And I find it just, it helps my skin so much more. And I use it usually in the evenings after I've taken my makeup off and everything like that. And I really notice a difference when I wake up the next morning. My moisturizer that I put on before bed has like sunk in a lot better and my skin just feels a lot less dry and I, I've always got this awkward period once I've cleansed my face and used micellar water or toner or anything between that and putting my mis uh, my uh, face cream on where I can feel my skin drying up it's so bad and um, and this I really think does the trick it kind of leaves my skin a little bit more supple a little bit more moisturized um, before putting on like a proper proper moisturizer so um, I'd really recommend this and I've this is the one probably out of all of them that I've really noticed a difference from that I really kind of I'm definitely gonna repeat by this. I also have the La Roche Posay um, cleansing milk. What? Yeah, I think it's called the same thing, and that one's really nice as well, and it smells really nice. But um, this one, I've just had such a good experience with this brand. I would really highly recommend this. And um, it also it says it removes makeup and cleanses and soothes. And I kind of use it after I've taken off my makeup. Sometimes if I'm being a bit lazy, like I'll take my eye makeup off and then use this for the rest of my makeup. And it does like you do notice that sometimes I'll do it twice, like properly take everything off and then wait a little bit for my skin to like dry out, dry a little bit and um, get a cotton pad and do it again just to make sure that all of my makeup is off. But it really does do the trick. Like my skin does feel clean after. And like I was saying, I've been washing my face a bit less often just because it's so dry and so having this is kind of like a good in between where I feel like my face is actually really clean so um so yeah Bioderma Sensu Bio really check it out especially if you've got dry skin like I do I seriously recommend it and um and yeah let me know if you do try it or if you have any other recommendations these are the only things that I've tried from Bioderma so I'd be really interested in hearing if you've got any other recommendations from the Sensu Bio range or from any of the other ranges I'd love to try like one of their moisturizers or, or something like that so um yeah do let me know I hope you guys enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you really liked it and yeah I'll see you guys again soon bye